Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous class, we have seen the definition of poverty, also the types of it that is absolute poverty as well as relative poverty and the international poverty line. In today's class, I'll be talking about the estimation of poverty in the Indian context. So let's get started. So poverty estimation in the Indian context is done or the method which is used is based on income or consumption levels and if an individual or a household has income or consumption level which falls below a given minimum level then that household is said to be below the poverty line. So this is how you look at it from the Indian context or estimation of poverty from the Indian context either you are using income or consumption but you will see in the in the in this lecture itself that we are not using income per se but we are using consumption and there are underlying reasons why we are using income uh, uh, why we are using consumption rather than income to estimate poverty in the Indian context. So let us look at who is doing it if at all as poverty is estimated in, in the Indian context then who is doing it using consumption data. So it is currently done by Niti Aayog which means National Institute for Transforming India. This is uh, set up in 2014 uh, rather after that but uh, it has taken over one of the very important think tanks in India per se which is called as the planning commission which was established in the 1950s. If you know the economic history of India we have seen the five year plans which were developed by the same. So these five year plans are now uh, uh, no, they, they are not into existence and it is the Niti Aayog which is formulating policies with respect to the Indian economy. It is sort of a think tank. And, and the chairman of the same is the prime minister of the country and the vice chairman is uh, I think it is uh, Rajiv Kumar. So please go and check with respect to the same. Uh, what the Niti Aayog is doing or who in the Niti Aayog is uh, looking after the estimation of poverty? It is the task force which is which is a, a group of individuals who are there in the Niti Aayog. They are looking at the calculation of poverty line. Furthermore, from where they are getting, uh, getting the data with respect to the consumption in Indian context, they are looking at the data which is captured by National Sample Survey Organization under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation Government of India. They are publishing reports with respect to consumption expenditure in India and the Niti Aayog is using the same to calculate something called as the poverty line based on consumption data. So, this is looking at the private consumption or we, this is capturing the private consumption uh, NSSO is capturing the private consumption of individuals in India and that is used to calculate poverty line in India by the Niti Aayog. There is a note of caution whenever you are looking at poverty line calculation what is happening in the Indian context poverty line estimation in India is based on consumption expenditure that is what I to told you when I was talking about the poverty estimation per se in the beginning it is based on the consumption expenditure and not on income levels. So it, it, it is not the income level which is more important to look at the below poverty line uh, estimates in the Indian context it is rather the consumption expenditure which is being looked at to arrive at something called as the below poverty line or to be very precise estimating the poverty itself in the Indian context. So I hope the idea is pretty much clear what is poverty estimation how it can be done either income or consumption why uh, who is doing it it is the Niti Aayog who is doing under the Niti Aayog there is a task force from where they are getting getting the data from the national sample survey organization under the ministry of statistics and program implementation their reports are used and it is a note of caution that we have to look that India is only looking at the consumption levels to estimate poverty and ignoring income. Now the next question which should pop up is why income is not being used to look at poverty estimate. So let us understand that income is not used because we see variation in income. For example, there are daily wage workers, self-employed individuals, they do not have a surety of income for a longer period of time rather yeah, or, or for 30 day reference period. So their income is, is a variable or a variable thing and as a result of that it is really difficult to arrive at, at a constant sort of an income threshold which should be uh, used to calculate poverty in the Indian context uh, but we see the consumption is relatively comparatively less uh, volatile and as a result of that and it is more stable and that is why we are using consumption to estimate poverty line in the Indian context. So therefore why income cannot be used and why consumption is being used is pretty much clear I hope with this resp uh, with respect to this point which is variation in income. Furthermore, additional income, let us assume that there are uh, certain individuals who are salaried individuals and they also have certain additional sources of income coming towards them. But effectively, it is really difficult to tap that 
or to probably incorporate that when you, whenever you are looking at the income uh, coming coming from different additional sources uh, in in the indian context people try to avoid that for taxation purposes so therefore that is a difficult factor to factor in and as a result of that income cannot be used or 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 we do not get a real picture of the income coming towards different households or individuals who are probably the income earners or wage earners yeah so this is again a big problem and as a result of that i am looking at the consumption levels rather than income the third point is data collection in case of income tracing general pattern is not possible at all what to, what should be the general pattern of income in this particular economy it is really difficult to estimate that and as a result of that what we are doing is we are using consumption now how consumption is being used the national sample survey organization uses a reference period let us say of 30 days or of 365 days or of 7 days this is i'm talking about the past 7 days or past 30 days or past 365 days for different commodities and they collect data from different households with respect to the same and therefore the uh, the, the reference period which is used for 30 days is uh, is used to calculate or or look at the consumption expenditure of individuals and then the same is used by niti ayog from the national sample survey organization reports under the ministry of uh, statistics and program implementation to arrive at something called as poverty line in the indian context so i hope the idea of poverty estimation in the indian context is pretty much clear in the next class i'll be talking about uh, the other concepts of 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 poverty line estimation in the, in in, the, in 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 india per se and we look at the different committees constituted by the government of india to look at poverty line estimation for both rural as well as the urban parts of the country so please stay tuned thank you so much